Good morning and welcome. I'm LJ with today's adventure stop here at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. We're going to do a quick resort tour to show the front desk amenities and more. Are you ready for today's adventure? Join me. Let's go. Over here is the front desk or concierge area. While parents are checking in, kids can go check out the Disney cartoons being featured over there on the TV screen. As of today's video date, most of the rooms run around $250 a night, give or take. There are some special promotions, so you can find some rooms that are fairly cheap. And the, this resort is actually great because it's one of the most recently updated ones. All three of the All-Star Resorts are very similar. Here you'll find Donald's Double Feature, where you can find a quick little souvenir on the way back to your bus to the airport, and also other concessions such as things to drink, little snacks, and souvenirs. Let's head over this way where you will find in this corner the fuel rod portable chargers, the ATM, telephones, and restrooms. And I don't know why, but one of my favorites over here, you'll find the world premiere food court. And yeah, all three are very similar. They offer the same kind of foods, like right now is breakfast, so you'll find the bouncy platter, which is your bacon, eggs, tater tots kind of meal for around $13. You can get bagel sandwiches for around $7 or $8, oatmeal for like 5 bucks, and other items. Oh, they actually moved the ATM over here now. So yes, I take it back. The ATM's here and your pressed pennies are right over there. Dog tags and the arcade, of course. Like the other all-star resorts, as you head out these second double set of double doors here at the movies resort, you'll find one of two pools. And this is the Fantasia pool. And this time of year, pool hours are from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. and feature Sorcerer Mickey off in the distance there, shooting up water, kind of like from Fantasmic. And these themed rooms, the Dalmatians, Mighty Ducks, Herbie the Love Bug, and Toy Story themed rooms are found in this circular pattern. Two pools, again this one, the Fantasia pool and Duck Pond off to the right. You also have laundry facilities, and other things to do, such as in the evenings, you'll find movie Under the Stars, featuring Encanto, 101 Dalmatians, Toy Story, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Coco, Captain Marvel, and The Little Mermaid. Other activities all throughout the week as well. Let's head over to the right. And these three-story buildings, these are all featured and designed after Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. This area over here, you'll find Giant Pongo and Perdita, three stories high along with their staircases to uh, go potty on, is the 101 Dalmatians area. As a side note, these would be considered like the preferred room when you're checking in. The standard rooms are the ones that are further out like Herbie the Love Bug, otherwise I stayed in that room right up there a few years ago and it's that close to the pool and front desk area and of course the bus pick up and drop off. This giant milk bone labeled K9 Crunchies from the 101 Dalmatians area leads over to the duck pond pool area which also features the Mighty Ducks area. And off to the right, that's where you'll find the laundry facilities. Again, a little smaller pool and the depth ranges from three to five feet there. And it's kind of funny, it's very similar to the Pirates of the Caribbean story where in this case, the movie came first, then the sports team came after. Emilio! And over here on this tree you have two very large chunky squirrels fighting with each other. Where's your buddy at? Where'd he go? There's a second one here. And he chased him off. Where's your friend? Anyways, onward we go. Would you take a look at that? There's two more squirrels fighting on this tree also. They must be camera shy. I 
see you. What's up, squirrel? Look at that little Disney squirrel. He's playing keep away. He does not want to be documented. Oh, look at them go. And as we get sidetracked here with nature, see how that dirt is dug up here? That's probably an armadillo looking for worms and bugs in the middle of the night while everybody's sleeping. Anyways, thanks. I kind of digressed a little bit there. All right, so the circular area is really cool the way this resort is designed because the oval shape lets you kind of park in the areas that are adjacent to your room. So unlike some resort hotels where you have to park all the way in the front or all the way in the back, this one and the other three, sorry, the other two are kind of uh, designed where you can kind of park in the areas where you're staying at. Hear that buzz? Cicadas. That's what's so cool about coming to Florida. I mean, yeah, there's nature everywhere you go, but there's like a lot of diversity here in nature. A lot of different creatures and animals. Listen to that. And all of a sudden it gets quiet. It's kind of like a squeaky wheel. Now it's completely silent. It's kind of like a squeaky wheel in some mechanic shop, but it's actually bugs and creatures all around us. All right, and this portion of the resort is the Herbie the Love Bug themed area of the resort, hence the hearts. And right back there where it says the bug race. Those are the stairs. See, I like this resort. It's full of creatures. Squirrel, bye squirrel. He also just came down from that tree. All the squirrels are in the trees this morning, apparently. So over here, you'll find the winner circle. Winner, winner, oh, how's your winner here? And that's Herbie, number 53, the love bug, who's in the winner circle. Even though he kind of sort of uh, crashed into the side of the building way up there. Oh, would you take a look? There's another one. The front side of Herbie, the love bug, followed by the back side. Yeah, but isn't that cool? It's so realistic and lifelike, even though it's three stories tall. So as we make our way past the checkered flags of the Winter Circle, we're going to next head over to the Toy Story area. And actually on our way over there, you can kind of see these cool little markings of these gears and sprockets and crescent wrenches and bolts and whatnot in the cement. Theming, yay, pretty awesome. And these rooms again, these are the um, standard rooms. So you'll save a little bit more. They're a little further away from the main lobby and the bus pickup and drop off area. Might be worth it to you because again, it's just a room to stay in. Some people like nicer rooms with more amenities. I mean, these have great amenities as well, but not bad for the price being on Disney property. And as another side note distraction, this big crescent wrench here double-headed 915 millimeters i just asked siri how big that is in feet it's only three feet so i don't think that's entirely accurate and it's a baby squirrel a skinny one hey buddy you gotta join your friends there and uh start consuming more meals that people left for you isn't that right little disney squirrel the backside of disney squirrel and making our way back around the real spot over there by the food court and the outdoor bar you'll find the checkers and chess ping pong but mostly you'll find the toy story themed rooms here you have a three-story high bucket o soldiers followed by the soldiers on the tops of the buildings And one cool notable fact as we approach this giant Buzz Lightyear, that's three stories high, you see those little pointy spikes everywhere? Those are lightning rods because again, this is Florida. They get a lot of lightning and thunder out here, so that definitely helps ground the lightning bolts. Along with the giant Woody. Would you take a look at that giant door as we enter Andy's room? Keep out, except Molly. Bo Peep. 
and there's the giant woody. And these are still considered the preferred rooms because again, they're just a quick stone throw away from the front desk food court area. You shall not pass. Haha, -ha, I win. Anyways, I just came from walking around the corner there, met a couple really nice security officers here, and uh, got their little take on what it's like here to work for Disney World. They really enjoy what they do. And uh, for one of them, it was kind of his second career, his retirement job. He worked in corporate management for 7-Eleven stores and just loves what he does over here. So speaking of which, that's why you all came here too, because you just enjoy visiting here, whether it be the resorts or the theme parks. So hey, I'm LJ with today's adventure stop. If you like today's adventure, give it a nice like and thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor, subscribe down below, and we'll see you on the next adventure.